Welcome Capricorn Didici here. It's October 2018 and uh, I've just moved into my new office. It's not yet got the air conditioner and uh, my computer's not yet here. So I'm approaching this month and next month a little differently. I'll be traveling next month uh, to Australia. Uh, so I'm uh, on the hop right now, but I wanted to talk about your ruling planet Saturn and its transit now through your sun sign. At some point, depending on uh, when you are born uh, in the sign of Capricorn, Saturn is going to make contact with uh, the solar position at the time you were born. This brings with it some tremendous responsibilities. Uh, being in the sun sign, it can actually dampen your enthusiasm, your spirit of progress, and uh, also, to a large extent, your self-satisfaction. Um, so how do we combat this? Firstly, you have to acknowledge Saturn's rulership. You have to acknowledge that its cycles bring uh, with it a, a degree of um, constriction in yourself and a degree of self-dissatisfaction. And I want to try to help you turn that around. Because we see right now, uh, irrespective of the date you're born in Capricorn, the transit of the sun in the right angle, while Saturn is receiving a, a pretty nice aspect from Uranus. So the challenges that you have in this cycle, at least this month anyhow, but I think this extends for a couple of years, so I want to talk to you about um, a principle that's going to help you with this, but heavy responsibility with that's the challenge from the sun. Authority, uh, bank, government, um, people that you live and work with who tend to have the upper hand in the circumstance can be making you feel pretty uncomfortable now. The way out is Uranus, this progressive planet, which generally challenges your supposedly conservative uh, personality type. The way out of this is to embrace the new, to embrace that which is progressive in every respect and uh, not fall back on your laurels, to not fall back on the tried and tested. That's difficult, Capricorn, because, you know, we, we're habitual beings. We, we've tried something, it works. I, I guess the first thing is, is it working? I mean, if it's working, I'm not saying you completely discard or eliminate that process or technique that has um, held you in good stead in the past that still I guess beckons you to consider the alternatives how can you be more progressive in the way you are presenting yourself to others uh, Saturn's position here also fully impacts your professional activities you know, it's hard. You've got your resume, you've got your experience, you've done this, you've done this, you've done this. The danger for the earth signs, such as yourself, Virgo and Taurus, is that you tend to get locked into a methodology of, of doing things. And I think with the changing circumstances around you uh, in the world, economically, professionally, uh, politically, but also in your family and domestic circumstance, there is a requirement for you now to really openly embrace the change. Your instinct is to, I guess, recoil, to uh, close in on yourself. But right now, what I'm predicting for you is the exact opposite. You need to embrace change, embrace that, which is probably a little bit zany in your books, to see just how that will work for you. And it may be that you know, from this position of Uranus in your fifth house, this period of your life may introduce some pretty wacky characters into your orb. So the lesson here is to um, embrace that, not resist, because Saturn has this uncanny energy which tends to... Um, bring you good fortune if you accept the misfortune. I know that sounds a little bit strange, but you may try this on a smaller, less 
significant events or people in your life. Uh, for example, if you're in a conversation and someone's challenging you on a point that you know full well is true based upon your experience and your ex expertise, to simply embrace that and not resist that and see what happens. So these are the small moment by moment challenges that uh, Saturn will throw up. Test the theory. Well, it's a theory, but it, it, it's also a practical experience. The ancient astrologers are of the opinion, and especially for someone like you, ruled by this planet, that the more you embrace the challenges that it throws at you, the more it's going to give you uh, the opportunity to um, enjoy success in bigger and better ways than you could ever have hoped to imagine. Now, the other thing here with Saturn transiting, the sun sign of Capricorn, is that the sun sign has a lot to do with your vitality and your physical well-being. It is a call to action for you to recognize what you are doing in your life, in your thinking, in your feeling, in your approach, and understanding that whatever health problems, lowered vitality you're experiencing, that this is also something that is coming from within you to some extent, uh, in some cases to a greater extent. So self-awareness is important while Saturn is transiting this position of your Capricorn sun sign and through that releasing those internal tensions that are giving rise to these diseases. Next month I want to talk about Jupiter its impact upon you and how you can expand. Once you get this Saturn energy under control, the embracing of the challenges, the non-resistant um, philosophy of Buddhism, um, which you can apply to your practical affairs, the introduction of the expansive energies of Jupiter to grow your success. I hope you'll join me for that. In the meantime, don't forget to stop off at my site, astrology.com.au. Thanks again for taking the time to join me. Bye-bye now.